hi guys so in today's video we're going to quickly solve this problem it says find the square root of 7 plus 2 root 10 so if you have to look for the square root of sorts like this we, we just simply need to represent it this way so i'm going to say i'm looking for the square root of 7 plus 2 root 10 so i'm simply going to say that let the square root be equal to root a plus root b let the square root be equal to root a plus root b now i'm going to try to take the square of both sides taking the square of both sides so this is now going to be this square of this yeah so this square is going to definitely cancel this so this is going to cancel this square root. So I'll be left with 7 plus 2 root 10. Then root A plus root B is going to simply give me A. Because A root A times root A is going to give me A. Then plus 2 root AB plus B. Now, if you notice something, we can try to compare coefficients because these terms, they look like this term, while this looks like this. So I'm going to try to equate them. So I'll simply say a plus b equals to 7, and I'm going to call that my equation 1. Then I can say 2 root ab equals to 2 root 10. Of course, these two, they can go off, including the square roots. So I can say AB equals to 10. Then I'll call that my equation 2. Then I'm going to try to solve these two equations simultaneously. Now from equation 1, from equation 1, I can say A is equal to 7 minus B. Then I'm going to put this term this expression a equals 7 minus b into equation 2 so a b equals to 10 now i'm going to substitute a with this term so it's going to be 7 minus b times b equals to 10. so this is going to give me 7b minus b squared equals to 10. now I want to rearrange I make minus b squared to cross the equality sign it becomes b squared then plus 7b becomes minus 7b well this is already plus 10 so all equal to 0 so I'm going to solve the quadratic equation quickly now the two terms that can go to work this is going to be something like uh, let's say minus 5 minus 2 because minus 5 times minus 2 is going to give me plus 10, while minus 5 plus minus 2 is going to give me minus 7. So b squared minus 5b minus 2b plus 10 equals to 0. So this is just a simple quadratic equation. Just in case you are not familiar with how to solve quadratic equations, just check the playlist. On this channel you see the videos on quadratic equations so this is b b 5 minus 2 b 5 equals to 0 now this is b minus 2 b minus 5 equals to 0 and this is b equal to 2 or b equals to 5 okay so but we need to get our value for a so i'm going to move over to this side so my value for a i'm going to say when b equals to 2 remember we said a from this expression or equation a equals 7 minus b so this is going to be a equals to 7 minus 2 so when b equals to a equals 5 
and when b equals 5 a equals 7 minus 5 which is 2 so the square roots so the square root of 7 plus 2 root 10 is simply equal to root 2 plus root 5 or root 5 plus root 2 which is actually the same thing since for in the case of addition we can write it anyhow anyone can come first so you could just write root 2 plus root 5 twice or root 5 plus root 2 twice so that is the final answer then we're going to quickly look at another example now this question says find the square root of 14 minus 4 root 6 so like we did initially we're going to say let the square root of 14 minus 4 root 6 so let the square root be a root a or this time it's going to be minus root b why because of this negative sign here so let the square root be that now i'm going to quickly take the squares of both sides so the square here of this the square of this so of course in this case this is going to cancel out so i'm going to be left with 14 minus 4 root 6 equals to now this is going to give me root a times root a is going to give me a then i'm going to get two roots a b then my sorry plus b all right so like we did the other time we're going to try to compare coefficients so this and this i'm going to equate this so a plus b is equal to 14 we can call that equation one while minus 2 root a b is equal to minus 4 root 6 okay so minus 2 goes here 1 minus 2 goes here 2 times so then of course the score okay no i'm not going to cancel the square yet sorry so root a b equals to 2 root 6 now this 2 i'm going to take it into this to make it a single sort so i'm going to be left with root a b equals to when 2 goes into the uh, square root it becomes 4 so 4 times 6 is root 24 okay so now we can cancel out the square root since we have single sort so a b equals to 24 and this becomes my equation number two so from equation one i can say that a so from one i can say that a equals to 14 minus b and then i'm going to put a into equation two and that's going to give me Remember, equation 2 is AB equals 24. So this is now going to be 14 minus B times B equals to 24. Now, when I multiply, I'm going to get this 14B minus B squared equals to 24. Then when I rearrange, move minus B squared across the equality sign is going to become plus b square y plus 14b is going to become minus 14b and this is going to stay as plus 24 equal to zero so to solve this quadratic equation to factorize this quickly um the two numbers i'm going to think of using are uh, let's say yeah 12 and 2 are going to work so minus 12 times minus 2 is going to give me plus 24 then minus 12 minus 2 is going to give me minus 14 so i'm going to use b square minus 12b minus 2b plus 24 equals to 0 so b into b minus 12 minus 2b to minus 12 equals to 0 then b minus 2b 
minus 12 equals to 0. So this simply means that, I'm going to move over to this other side. This simply means that B equals to plus 2 or 12. Now we're going to look out for the values for A. So when B equals to 2, remember our expression for A, A equals to 14 minus B. So when B equals 2, A equals 14 minus 2, and that gives me 12. Now when B equals 12, A equals to 14 minus 12, and that gives me 2. So at the end of the day, the square root of 14, the square root of 14 minus 4 root 6 is simply what? What is A? It's simply root 12 minus root B. Remember, we said let the square root be root A minus root B. So root 12 minus root 2 of course, which I can break down further to give me, um, because root 12 is 4 times 3, so and the square root of 4 is 2, so I can break it to be root 2 root 3 minus root 2, or root 2 minus root 12, which of course, like I said initially, can be root 2 minus 2 root 3. So this is our final answer when we try to get the square root of this particular sword, 14 minus 4 root 6. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Okay, so see you in the next video. Thank you.